Hello everyone, Sunset Duck 2, welcome to another Dino Pack overview, this time on WASD Ultimate Block Breaker, a data pack that simply adds a block breaker that you can use to break, break blocks with specific tools. And when it comes to damage, you're going to want to be careful of that. Uh, once you get the data pack though, you'll obviously go through the website and otherwise, but upon doing so, you will have the WASD libraries and the block breaker itself. Obviously there's instructions, you sort of just pull it out from here and the instructions just ended up being um, part of it, so there's that to follow as well as the whoops, not doing that, um, libraries related one as well, which is quite important to follow, as well as the resource packs menu and otherwise to consider. Um, but yeah, so once you've done that, um, there'll be a thing here related to the data pack appearing, um, other data packs they made, certain other things. I'll just go in and out actually for that. Real quick. But uh, there we go. So you've got details. You can go to that obviously, and there's data packs and other things. I think there was another, but I can't remember. For things you could configure, unless I've got the wrong one in mind. Either way, what you want to do is I'll just put tools that you can use for breaking these specific blocks. So, for example, you'll want to use um, a pick for cobble, an axe for wood. Um, shovel for dirt, and I've tried a sword and hoe and it doesn't do anything in particular. To make it, you obviously want a dropper and throwing a diamond pickaxe on top, and you're good to go. And from there obviously if I just throw in a gold pick, it'll break that. And the dropper will go down, and obviously if you're not careful, it'll break. So you can want to filter that out for repairs, or just put in another one that has a lot more durability. So we just go between these here, you can see this uses the pick for the cobble, the following there, and like so. And you would obviously have a hopper or something else there, besides maybe a dispenser or whatever else to place them. Um, I've tried things like seeds and otherwise, obviously doesn't change anything. Um, if I actually had dirt underneath rather than grass, nothing there. Um, and I have tried with mobs and obviously that doesn't change anything either. Uh, whoops. We'll just uh, roll that and there you go, nothing there because it's obviously for breaking blocks, not for defeating mobs, or tilling land. You wanted to obviously use it for certain other purposes, such as stairs, you could, oops, just go to the spawner, uh, where did it go? Uh, certain things like TNT can't be broken though, or spawners, if I can find it right now, there we go. Spawners also aren't broken with a pick. Others obviously can. So ores and other typical blocks that can be mined by the tools. Uh, slabs that are wooden have worked, but I haven't come across some others that do. So the stone one doesn't there, doesn't there. If I put the wooden one top and bottom, it works. Trapdoors also. Top and bottom. Even the iron one. Top and bottom. But uh, yeah. Obsidian does work though, surprisingly. Even if you have an iron pickaxe in here, it'll actually take the durability from it. But um, bedrock, of course, it can't break. So. Um, other things like plants and so on, I haven't had it break. Uh, let's try shears and 
Particular stuff, obviously, it won't, but uh, a few common ones like bricks and stone picks. Okay, bricks don't, uh, but stone and wood and others definitely will be picked up, and it's mostly between the main three tools, not certain others um, like shears or hoes. Um, we're using swords or um, flint and steel or something like that, but uh, yeah, many of the common blocks for the most part, not sort of like extras and such. Is it going to break? Obviously I think that's the shovel there for the concrete powder as well. But uh yeah. Two high blocks like doors, doesn't seem to either. But uh, obviously you can use it for more typical blocks, not technical, um, more particular. Uh, definitely an axe for that then. Uh, we'll try something like a brewing stand, which also is a lot lower down, kind of like a trapdoor. It's a unique case. So, yeah. Otherwise though, the developer video has a lot more um, going on for the sort of technical aspects, as well as other possibilities, but, um, yeah, thanks so much for watching, and goodbye.